It was a really interesting experience working with the Canada-Japan Business Council of BC. Part of this project that VAF was doing was pairing filmmakers with non-filmmaking community organizations. It's a story that has some universal themes about intergenerational issues and then of course there's a strong business element as well because we worked with the um, CJCBC. We are Canada-Japan Council of British Columbia that consists of 10 business associations and one observer, Mokyokai. I worked with Cosmos Seminars, which is a Japanese-Canadian seminar workshop group, and they've been running for 18 years, and it was really a pleasure working with them. The collaboration between the groups, uh, between myself and the organizers, have been really easy, and it's been fabulous working with these lovely ladies.私What inspired me to make this documentary was um, the people involved in the Kudo Association. They were all, I realized how everybody came from different background, different generation, race and gender, but they all came to practice this one very disciplined practice. And I felt that that's something that is very unique and very Japanese in a way and I love that that resonated with the Canadian community. I started this club for very selfish reasons. I, I, I grew up as a very angry person. The anger and violence just doesn't help later on in life when you're older, when you have kids, when you have a job. I noticed when I was doing Kudo that the, the anger kind of went away every shot I took. So what inspired this story was um, me questioning my own background, uh, what it means to be Chinese Canadian, um, and my parents were both born in Peru, which adds another layer of cultural um, identity and history as well. I really wanted to, to showcase a story from um, the senior community who often doesn't have a voice, especially in mainstream society, um, and I feel like there's still so much that we can learn from, from our seniors and, and from their experiences as well. When I started working in 1988, I worked on the Japanese-Canadian Redress Settlement and it was at that time I started meeting people, the seniors of that community. And it became very clear to me that uh, there were so many things that were missed during their younger years, younger times, but also the kinds of needs that they had as they were beginning to age. <laughs> 